So if you really want to relight this entire scene in a realistic way, so you can really follow this tutorial. So first of all, I just imported a car. All right. So now, first of all, I need to turn off all this like sky atmosphere, sky light and this too as well. So now you have only a directional light. So we can turn this off as well. And now go to content pack, go down to starter content pack and type BP. Find this BP light in studio, simply drag and drop and you can see some kind of a lighting over here. So first of all, go down and turn off this use sunlight and over there you can find this use HDRI. Simply check this on and once you turn this on, you can see HDRI start adding light in your scene. Now simply turn on this directional light and you can also see the rest of your background. Now let's change the HDRI. Simply select this HDRI. Now you can really change the HDRI right from here. Simply click here and simply type HDRI and press enter and you can find out this type of amazing HDRIs. Now if you really want to go to this folder, simply select this. It will directly jump into your HDRI folder. Also you can import the other HDRIs. So let's import some HDRIs. So now as you can see, all HDRIs are imported. So first of all, I just turn off this directional light so that you can see actual HDRI lighting up your scene. Now let's uh, drag and drop some HDRIs in your scene and let's see how it will look like. Now simply drag and drop this into a scene and you can see it start adding light in your scene. It's amazing. So for me, this HDR is looking really nice. So now let's add some camera. So go here, press add level sequence, save and let's and add a camera and it will come like this. Now from here, it's the DSLR, simply zoom this up and uh, let's add the camera over here. And it's already started looking real. Also, you can add a ground flow. So I have one simply drag and drop and it will give some, you know, details. And now let's do some really good camera animation with this lighting setup. Let's select the camera. First of all, you need to add your focal length. Let's make it to 30 millimeter and go down, make it to 25 by 25. The most iconic wide angle lens. And it's looking nice. Now select the HDRI. You can really rotate, increase the HDRI brightness and all simply increase the light and you can see it's already start hitting with this car simply increase the contrast a bit now let's rotate the hdri right from here and we can see the real time reflections now let's add some camera depth of field so go down you can find this camera and aperture let's make it to 1.4 and over there you can focus go to focus settings turn this on and decrease the focus to somewhere here and turn this off so that once you zoom in in you can see the background it's it's looking really nice so yes that's it for today i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial very simple short and amazing lighting information on this video i have shared so if yes then definitely subscribe my name is rojat see you in the next video till then bye bye